What's up, everybody? This is Ploy Dog with the Ploy Cast. Doing a little uh, race room action tonight, brought to you by Function Auto Sport. A uh, great shop in Punta Gorda here where you can pretty much get a hold of all your sim needs and all your real life racing needs as well. I'm over here at Brands Hatch. I'm in the Audi R8 LMS GT3 Evo Edition. Just slowly getting used to this whole uh, race room thing. Uh, each track offers something a little different. Uh, each car feels just a little different. And uh, yeah, I'm adjusting to it all and trying to get a little better here. Just gonna pull one practice lap to warm up and then uh, we're gonna jump right into some racing for sure. I don't want this to be a really long video, so I only set the race up for two laps. Let's see if I can get myself. Uh, at least out of last place and <laughs> hold it together long enough. Uh, it's two laps. I hope I can hold it together. We'll see though. I do get impatient trying to pass people and uh, that's one of the things I really have to teach myself <laughs> when it comes to sim racing. It's not an arcade. You can't slam your way through. It's not kosher. You have to be smart and uh, stay with the pack and look for opportunity. That's for sure. Just finish up this lap and I'm gonna go ahead and jump right to the race. The car feels pretty good. This is the first uh, I'm driving the Audi as well, so yeah, we'll see how this all works out. Jump right into the race here. We just go return to garage and skip session. Uh, would I should go to qualifying, but it probably put me to the front of the pack where not not good. If I'm if I'm in the front of the pack, I've learned in this game if I can get out front, uh, my struggle isn't lap times. My struggle is actually lapping people or getting around people. So here we go. This is the uh, Brands Hatch Audi R8. LMS GT3 Evo Edition. And uh, yeah, I'm currently on the T500. Looking forward to this is the T500 Thrustmaster with the uh, Ferrari uh, Formula One wheel, which feels very similar to a GT wheel. I'm looking forward to upgrading to the CLS or CSL Fanatec with the direct drive and a wheel. Soon, soon, that is the plan. Saving up, saving up for the good stuff. Stay nice and tight with these guys and hopefully I can make a move here. Soon enough, like I said, I only set it for two laps. So, I'm gonna be a little aggressive. Try not to be too touchy. Not, you know, not too much rubbing. Rubbing his racing action. I'm not trying to do too much of that. Just trying to stay close and smart. And, uh, yeah, that AI right there. No room to wiggle for sure. Oh, he worked his way right back up in there. He did not care. Aggressive driving, if you will. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to stick down inside the inside here. Take that position. There we go. And I'm learning a little bit here and there. At least working with the AI, I know uh, human drivers are a lot different and uh, it takes a totally different approach with human drivers. But uh, yeah, just, like car control, just looking for opportunity, I think is what I'm taking away by uh, working with the AI here. So far, so good. Keeping it clean. Try to get myself out front. The, I think the big thing uh, is to not get greedy or try to 
maintain speeds that'll just push you off of the track. You just gotta keep smart. Big senders are great for that last lap turn, I suppose. Uh, but for the most part, while you're racing, at least for me, uh, just try to keep it nice and steady and smart. And yeah, I got around the whole pack there, so pretty stoked on that. Uh, doesn't mean I won't make a mistake in them retaking their positions. Uh, and that's one thing I do like about the AI in this game, is that they seem to drive pretty smart. They use a lot of different lines, and uh, they're not afraid to get around you, and they will do it clean for the most part. I haven't had any really bad issues of them just smashing me out of the way. Uh, I have done some braking a little too early in front of a faster car, uh, but outside of that, no, nothing nothing major where I'd have to, I'd have any type of concerns. This one here, he wants that first place again. Ooh, I'm taking it back. Hopefully I can hold it. This is coming up to the last turn. <laughs> uh, this will be actually my first official win in um, Brands Hatch for the race room. So, uh, of course, it's just done in two laps. It is adaptive, adaptive AI, uh, but yeah, no, pretty stoked on that. Stoked, gotta win. Uh, I mean, if you know any creator as well as I know any other creators, uh, we will keep doing it over and over again to it. Don't look stupid, and sometimes it pays off when you. Uh, you look pretty cool and you win a race. So I'm pretty stoked on that. But anyway, thanks for checking it out, guys. Um, uh, like I said, uh, keep your eye on the page. Um, teaming up with um, uh, Function Autosport and stuff like that. And, and looking forward to doing a lot of sim stuff in the future. So if you're interested in any type of sim stuff, let me know. Reach out. I'll make sure you guys stay uh, in tight with the dates. Give you addresses and all that stuff. Uh, we're hoping to put together a meet and greet very soon. Uh, we'll have some food, check out the sim rigs, and uh, just see if this may be a hobby that you might want to involve yourself in. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later, and aloha.